Hello YouTubers, Paul is the best for UK here. I thought I'd show you Macos Catania Beta working on my old 2007 iMac. Now this is an unsupported operating system for this iMac, so I use DOS Dooge Patcher Utility. I had to upgrade to this Intel T8300 mobile CPU. It, as long as your iMac's got a Penwin CPU, you're fine, or you will have to upgrade to a Penwin one for this to work. Let's have a look at boot times first of all. This is done with a mechanical 256 gigabyte hard drive. You're welcome to uh, skip past this bit if you want. But I'm just going to keep it in real time so we can get an idea. I don't like wasps in the summer. I don't like them. Get in there. I do apologize for my reflection in the screen. There's quite, quite a lot of glare. So that's quite a slow boot up time. It m would be much faster with an SSD, but I don't have one in this computer at the moment. So we are running Macos Catalina version 10.15. You can see the processor string is wrong, but it still works. That's just cosmetic. You see that the ATI Rage on HD 2600 is also natively supported without any modification. So let's have a look how it performs. See the dock's nice and responsive. See the launch pad comes on straight away and you can tell that acceleration is working. Here's the system preferences. I did actually put 4 gigabytes of RAM in this. It's got DDR2 RAM. So dim. As you can see for such an old iMac and the latest operating system, it runs beautifully. It would run even better with a SSD. See the pictures change quite fast. So let's have a look. Even Apple TV, the new the new thing built into Macos Catalina works fine. See, nice and responsive. This Mac is the A1224 model, Core 2 Duo. 
like I said earlier in the video I had to change the CPU before it would work because the original CPU wasn't Penryn based but some of them were I believe so you might get lucky on that see this trailer is working for this new program that Apple TV is going to launch the morning show back to the desktop in an instant launch pad works good let's have a look at Safari the internet browser built into macOS loading times are a little long at first but that's probably because I've got my mechanical drive in there still Eventually it will come on now and it's very usable once it's on. Let's have a look at the BBC website. And as you can see, a very usable environment. Even iPlayer works. I can't really show you any uh, clips of iPlayer running because it's copyright. I'll probably get copyright strike for that, but that I can tell you that it works fine. Even in HD. I watched EastEnders on it the other day and it worked just fine. YouTube also works brilliantly full screen browsing experience is not too bad at all for such an old computer my channel here Let's have a look, shall we? I actually created that uh, intro movie using this very iMac. Everything works fine. You can't play 4K, but you can play 1080. see YouTube works just fine snap back onto the desktop from Safari The App Store also seems to work fine. I haven't actually tried purchasing anything yet, but I've got no reason to believe why it won't work. Let's have a look at Google Maps now. Works fine in both 2D and 3D modes. Very responsive, very usable. We're running on an iMac from 2007 on the latest MacOS released in 2019. Well, it's not actually officially released yet, it's a beta version. Try out Street View. I don't know where this is, just somewhere in Coventry. And street route view as you can see works just fine. You can see 
see all the uh, British roads and streets and stuff here. Still as responsive as pretty much a new computer, to be honest. Wikipedia obviously works just fine. Look at the Sinclair Spectrum, of course, on the Wikipedia website. Very usable indeed. Go back to YouTube. Yeah, it did halt a bit then. Sometimes it takes a few seconds, but... It might be, again, because I've got the mechanical hard drive and it's a very old drive. As you can see. The adverts also work, disappointingly. <laughs> but yeah, we've got a... Uh, up to 1080p. Works fine in full screen, as you can see. Now, doesn't seem to have any or many drop frames or anything. 4K won't work at all. Don't even think about trying to run 4K on this. But 1080 seems to work just fine. As you can see, beautiful picture. They've got a good display on these old iMacs as well. The, the monitor's really bright with good darks. So, conclusion. Uh, works good. I do apologise about me being in the way of the shot here. The uh, Apple News works fine. Easily browsable. Just such a uh, a really good uh, usable computer still even today. Obviously you're not going to be able to play the latest games on it, but you can play some games on it. And you see how fast it all comes up. Not bad for Core 2 Duo with just 4GB of DDR2 RAM. I use this computer daily. I have actually got an AMD Ryzen gaming machine as well, but I use this sometimes as well and it, it works just fine. I don't use half of these Apple apps so podcasts I don't really use but that news has just come back on again. Apple podcasts po Apple podcasts works just fine. Here it is. 2019 version of podcasts to come out of that. You can see how fast the window transitions are and stuff, it's working just great. Activity monitor here, obviously some of this is going to be quite high. You probably notice at the top right of the uh, Apple screen there's a CPU manual override for the fan. I decided to do that because it was overheating a little bit. I don't know if that's because it's an old system or because this operating system makes it work harder. But I'd, I'd, I'd rather read it to 2500 RPM. It's not loud still and it keeps the processor under 50 degrees most of the time. Here's Chess. Chess works just as well as it would have done on Al Capat. El Capitan, which is the uh, official latest supported operating system for this Mac. This Mac will also run. Chill up a minute. This Mac will also run Sierra, High Sierra, and Majove as long as you use DOS Dude's patching utility, which is brilliant. So, uh, links for DOS Dude's patch utility are in the video description below. And if you want to see more of this iMac, let me know. Thank you for watching and good night.